Today on Divas Can Cook, we are toasting up some pecans, making this rich and sweet filling, and ooh, honey hush, it is old school pecan pie time. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is spread our pecans, or pecans, however you wanna say it, I say pecans. Spread them out, we're gonna bake them for about five to seven minutes, just enough to get them nice and crispy, and they're gonna get even more crunchy as they sit, so go ahead and just let them cool off until we are ready to use them. Okay, so we're gonna move along and make our filling so, so easy. Pecan pie is so doggone easy. We're gonna use some dark brown sugar, add that into a large bowl, add in a little bit of granulated sugar, and next we're gonna add in some flour. The flour is optional, but I always add it because it really helps with the texture. I love adding flour. A little bit of salt and a generous pinch of cinnamon. We're gonna whisk this all around just to get everything combined. Break up those chunks of brown sugar. Okay, that looks perfect. All right, so once you have it all whisked in, we're gonna add some corn syrup. You can use dark, corn syrup if you want to, but I like to use this light corn syrup when I'm using dark brown sugar. Okay, so add that corn syrup in there. Make sure you get it all in there too. We're gonna uh, mix this all around. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of melted butter. That's gonna make it um, really easy to get everything all mixed up. So go ahead and, it's like a little arm workout too. My arm was kinda burning getting all this stuff mixed up. But yeah, once you get it all combined, we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract. If you wanna add in a little bit of rum extract or coconut extract, oh my gosh, you guys, that is so good in pecan pie. But yeah, I wanna keep it simple, just vanilla for me. Look at that, it looks like caramel, doesn't it? It kinda tastes like it too, I love this recipe. Okay, so now we're gonna add our eggs into a separate bowl here. Crack them, I always make a mess with eggs. I don't know why, cracking eggs me. We don't get along. But yeah, once you have them all cracked in the bowl, we're gonna whisk, 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 whisk. And we're gonna get them uniform in color, just like this, looking good, looking good, nice and yellow and bright. And then we're gonna add this into our little filling here, dump it right on it. It's gonna make it nice and rich and creamy and just gooey. And yes, them eggs, that's where it's at. And once you have it all mixed in, the batter will be nice and smooth and kind of look like this right here. All right, so here's my pie crust, my favorite pie crust ever. I use this pie crust for everything, the recipes on my blog. I'm gonna dump those toasted pecans right into the bottom of my pie here, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna pour on that rich, rich filling. Yes, I don't mix it in my um, filling. I just put the pecans in first and then put the filling on top, and then I wait. I let all those nuts float to the top. See, like that, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna pop it into the oven for about 65, 75 minutes. It'll be a little bit jiggly when it comes out. Make sure it cools off completely, like two or three hours it needs to cool off. And then after that, it is time to have the experience because eating pecan pie is, it's an experience, it really is. You got that buttery, biscuity tasting pie crust. That filling is like caramel with a little hint of butterscotch and those candied pecans on top, y'all. It's so bomb. You can add some ice cream if you want to, but it is very, very sweet, but it's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Later.